What we're going to do is build a utility trailer for a golf cart side by side or everything for yard work. I have a lot of palm trees and they have very long limbs and when I got to pick them up to take them and burn them, they fall off, they do everything, so I want to make a cart. This cart is going to be four feet wide by ten feet long. So my first obstacle, I bought an axle right here from Northern Tools. These are going to use golf cart tires on it, which is the cheapest I can get. Uh, if you're going to actually build a trailer and put it on the road, you just got to buy new tires and rims. And the axle, what I had to do was make it narrower. As you can see, I cut this much of the axle out. So there's a big chunk missing. So I cut that out. And now I re-welded it here. I inserted another piece of steel inside this tubing and then just weld the axle up. So the axle on this from hub to hub is only 44 inches. So that means the outside the tower, tire to outside is around 54 inches. The trailer that we're going to build on top is actually maximum width from side to side will be 53 inches wide. So this will work out perfectly. I got everything bolted together and everything. The width of the beams we're going to have to make will be 35 inches from here to here. So the outside the beams that's going to rest on these are going to be 35 inches when we get to it. So that's what the axle looks like. Now we're going to go and start cutting some steel and get it all cut so that we can just hurry up and weld this thing together. The parts I'm cutting right at the moment are one half by one half and So after you get all the steel chopped up, ready to go, uh, now we can take them and prep these sides on here with a grinder at an angle. That's will get the burrs off and so when you get it welded on it won't cut you. So we're going to grind these down next. Okay, what we're going to do is just smooth these edges off so that you don't get cut or anything when you're uh, using the trailer. I'm using, this is like sandpaper style, I think it's like 80 grit. And I just put it on a grinder and hit the sides real fast uh, to get the sharp edges off. Okay, this gives you an idea. I do it to all of it just for safety to get those rough edges off. And to, to build the trailer, what we're doing, we're taking two two by twos, 10 feet long, because I'm going to make the trailer 10 feet. That's going to be the main beams, which is welded to the axle. Next, these are the cross sections that I'm going to have. These will go on the main beam like that. So here's the two main beams. This is setting on there. And then the side pieces are going to be welded on here like that on both sides. We're going to have a total of six major pieces so it's like two feet apart. 
the floor of this is going to be expanded wire. It's a wire mesh, so that means you throw the stuff on the trailer, small things will fall right on the ground because we're, you know, this is a trailer to pick up branches, leaves, queen palm stuff, and that's what I'm going to use this trailer for because that's what I designed it for. So after I get this grounded down, we're going to start welding. What we're going to do, these are the three pieces. This is the 50 inch piece here that's going across. These inch and a half are on the side going up. That's going to be for the side boards or just the sides because I'm just going to have them every two feet. I got these clamps on here to square them up. I've used those style of clamps for years. And after you clamp them up, make sure that it's square at least. Don't have to be perfect, it's just a trailer, but make sure that it's fairly square. Welding, usually I overbuild everything and I over weld too, so uh, I'm going to end up welding this seam, the bottom seam, as you can see this is sticking out maybe about a quarter of an inch so I can put a weld down it and then I do the same thing on the other side. The top side joint here I will not be welding. The reason why when I put this beam onto the trailer a 2 by 2 angle will go in that corner. If I weld it it's going to push that angle out. And I'll be welding the angle at the top and the bottom of where I'm going to put the expanded metal wire for the bottom. So it will be all one at that time. So I got six of these to build. So I'm going to start welding right now. Clamp the ground on. And when I weld, I always, when I, I like to weld tubing because it comes out pretty good. Usually I weld at an angle going this way on a tubing so that it bonds at that angle. So that usually works out for me. So that's not too bad of a weld. There you go. There's the next weld. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing we got to do is flip it that way, do the bottom. So I got to build up six of those. 
and then after I build six, then we're going to put them on the main beam. Okay, we got these brackets here built. The ones that goes down and across and up. I got six of those built. And after I got those built, naturally we're at 95 degree temperature and we just had a one inch rain shower, good old Florida rain shower. So everything looks a little different. What we got to do first is measure between the springs again, <clears throat> which is about 35 inches. Now these beams here from outer side to outer has to be 35 inches on both ends. Just like that. <clears throat> Next, you got to go from, a little hard to do this by yourself, but you got to go corner to corner here and measure the inches, corner to corner from this side <clears throat> and measure it and make sure that it's square. If it's not square, don't weld it. Next thing, I take a level and I tuck a level to this beam, the beam over here, and the two cross beams to make sure they're level because this is very critical on this weld. If you don't have it level, your trailer is going to be crooked. And we're going to weld these two ends. We're welding this end over here and we're going to weld this end. <clears throat> These are going to be our main reference points to add the other ones in between. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, we got the four corners welded. Next, I got a stage up to show you how to put the rest of them on. Okay, we got this prepped up. Remember, we welded this piece in place. And we welded the other end in place. We took the 2 inch by 2 inch angle on this side and that side. We clamped it down to here and at the other end. And after we did that, that was your straight line. So then we just went two foot on center of each one of the beams all the way across, all the way up. So everything's two foot on center from that point on. And now it's clamped in on each piece ready to weld. So you remember those two pieces on this end is welded. These four are not. So we're going to weld it to the main beam first. And after we get this welded to the main beam, we'll prep up the next section and show you what's next. Okay, we have a few th couple things left to do. Actually, we have three things left to do. One, here's the trailer. It's all tacked. The main bar is tacked on one side at least of each main beam. We got to put the axle on. We got to put the floor on. And we got to put a tongue on. To do the tongue, we have to figure out what we're going to use it on. And over here, We have two different units. 
what we have to do is measure from the trailer hitch ball outward and this is like 36 inches because when you turn here you don't want to make sure that trailer doesn't hit anything up here the golf cart is narrower so you can actually go there about 32 inches you can actually on the golf cart at least a 32 inch tongue so when you turn it so in case you start to jackknife it won't hit the uh, golf cart so 36 over there I'll just go four feet so we're gonna have to cut a two inch by two inch channel and I always get carried away so from beam to beam is another 48 inches so I'm going to go 48 inches plus another 48 inches, which is 8 feet. And I'm going to put a receiver on it, which will be a 2-inch receiver. Everything that I have is 2-inch. I don't use 1 and 7 eighths at all. So I use 2-inch or bigger. So this is going to be a 2-inch receiver to hook up the, to the trailer hitch. i got to have an 8-foot 2 by 2 and that's what we're going to do next. We're going to cut one and, and put the receiver on it, and then we're going to weld that in. And then the next thing after that is going to be the axle. Okay, we uh, cut an 8-foot piece, 2x2. Uh, two two. And the way I do the hitches, I just put a weld in each one of these holes. You can drill the hole for a bolt. I'm lazy. So what we're going to do here is weld it. So as you can tell, I just filled in the two holes and that's it. Now I'm just going to go to the other side, fill in those two. There you go. Receiver is now attached. Inside to inside is 31 inches. So half of that used to be 15 and a half. which is going to be basically right there is going to be our first guess. So there's one. Now we're going up here, 15 and a half. That's right there. This here is just temporary to make sure that I my guess is correct. Uh, go back to the back, measure here, and it says I've got to move it a quarter inch. Okay. Hey, got it. There you go. Now we got this side to do. Make sure it's straight. Huh. 
That's sheer luck. So I needed one sixteenth that way. That's it. That's dead perfect. Okay, now the hitch is ready to go. And you just got to remember, before you weld this hitch down, make sure you got it the right side up. So the ball will go in here. You don't want to weld it the other way. So we're all ready. Now we're going to weld that up. You already know how to weld, so I'm not going to show that portion. Okay, we're going to install the axle. I come to the conclusion, I already know where the middle is. This is a symmetrical trailer, so I mean from the front to the axle is five feet. So, what I wanted to do is just have maybe 30 pounds of tongue weight. So right here is five feet is right here, and the axle is 64 inches back. So as long as it's 64, which is fine. That gives you some tongue weight. Plus I got an extra piece of steel for the tongue. Everything else on this trailer is symmetrical. So considering the trailer is symmetrical, um, yeah, it's only going to be about 30 pounds of weight on the tongue. No use to flip it upside down and do all the extra work uh, for something I already know. So everything's ready to go. We're going to weld the axle down. Now these, this was a kit from Northern Tools. It came with the axle, the springs, the shackles. The shackles, the way they go on, is the big one goes on the front. And then in the back is the swivel. I always put it straight up and down, just like that. When you hit a bump, they go backwards. Some does it a little different. This is the way that I do it, and I know it functions just fine. So we're going to weld this on, and then the after I get this welded, I'll flip it upside down, and we'll get the floorboard. Okay, mine started now. Well, as you can see, I pretty well got the trailer completed done. Uh, the only thing I got to do left is the bottom half. I have to put the expanded wire on it. I got to cut it here and then weld that down to the trailer. And as you can see, the trailer is done. Um, the axles, like I said, I have about 30 pounds on the tongue, maybe 25 to 30 pounds on the tongue. That's about it. So I came out perfect, uh, everything. I worked on this video. Uh, today is July the 20th of 2019. Boy, time's going fast. And uh, I started on this around 2 o'clock. And remember, I'm in the 70s, so I'm old. So I started at 2 o'clock, and right now... Sun's going down, almost down, so it's about 8. So I just wanted to get this video done, and uh, so I'm going to close it off here. Uh, as soon as I get this welded, I have a couple other projects i got to do, and then I'm going to paint this and the other two projects i got coming up at the same time. So I won't be painting this until about another week or so. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I like to do more of these, but it takes me a lot of time to do the videos. I'm already slow and this makes me even slower. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. When you get a chance if you would please subscribe to my channel that would help us out. Thank you.